The Visible Implant Fluorescent Elastomer Tagging System was developed to provide externally visible internal marks for fish that are too small for other methods. It also provides the opportunity for developing a surprising array of unique identifications. The elastomer system utilizes a specially developed, biocompatible, two-part elastomer material which contains fluorescent coloring. After mixing, the elastomer is a liquid which can be injected into tissue with a hypodermic syringe. Within hours, this material cures into a pliable solid. The elastomer functions to hold the fluorescent pigments in a cohesive, well-defined, biocompatible mark. In this video, we will show you how to mix and inject NMT's visible implant elastomer tags using manual injection kits. Please view the video introducing visible implant elastomer and visit our website www.nmt.us for more information. The following materials are included in varying amounts in the master, four color, and single color kits. Elastomer in your choice of colors, manual elastomer ejectors, mixing and injection supplies, a VI light to enhance tag detection, a VIE color standard, instructions, and the material safety and data sheets. Refills of elastomer and mixing supplies are also available. For complete curing to occur, the two elastomer components must be thoroughly mixed. The suggested mixing procedure is as follows. The mixing ratio is 10 parts elastomer to one part curing agent. Using the measurements on the curing agent syringe, dispense 0.1 cc into the bottom of a mixing beaker. Using the calibrations on the elastomer syringe, dispense 1 cc into the same mixing beaker. As it is very important that the two parts are well mixed, they should be stirred for one full minute. It is possible to mix 0.5 cc of material. Please follow the directions carefully and contact the NMT biological staff with any questions. If you are using a trial kit, dispense the entire contents of both the curing agent vial and the elastomer syringe into the mixing beaker and stir for one full minute. The working time is approximately one hour at room temperature, longer when cooler and shorter when warmer. Keeping the mixed material in a freezer or cooler will greatly prolong the working time. Next, remove the plunger and the orange cap from the 0.3 cc injecting syringe and use a 1 cc transfer syringe to draw up some of the mixed material and fill the injecting syringe about one-third full. Replace the plunger and load the syringe into the hand injector body, making sure to line up the bevel of the needle opposite the wedge-shaped notch. With the back piece in place, the injector should be ready to tag. It is designed to be held in the thumb and forefinger with the back piece against the palm. In this way, maximum force with minimum effort can be placed on the injector by simply squeezing the hand against the back piece. Most users inject elastomer with the bevel of the needle up a sponge or paper towel will be useful to clear the needle of excess elastomer prior to injection. Once the elastomer has cured and the wound has healed, the tag should be retained for the life of the animal, as in this adult four-year-old Chinook salmon tagged in its first year of life. However, if the specimens are vigorously handled too soon after tagging, before the material cures or the wound heals, the material can be forced back out of the needle wound. Merely dropping the animal into water or subjecting it to heavy current could increase tag loss. Tag specimens should be handled with care for at least 10 days after tagging. Long-term retention of elastomer tags should exceed 90% if done properly. Care should also be taken to avoid material trailing from the tagging wound. This could cause a percutaneous condition and problems similar to those resulting from external fish tags anchored through a skin lesion.
This problem is avoided by ending the flow of material before withdrawing the needle and lightly wiping the wound. Visibility of the fluorescent colors, and hence tag detection, is greatly enhanced when viewed with the VI light. The flashlight included in your kit is waterproof and is equipped with deep violet light emitting diodes, LEDs. Please do not look directly into this light or at the beam reflected by a mirror. The VI light is not a toy and must be kept out of the reach of children. Shine the light directly on the tag bearing tissue to fluoresce the tags. Again, proper color selection is a vital part of a good experimental design and we recommend you call NMT if you would like assistance. The VIE color standard is a helpful tool for selecting colors, but it's also very valuable during tag recovery. The color standard can be held directly over the tag in question for side-by-side -side comparison. This is particularly helpful when using VI light and the colors are not as obvious as they are in ambient light. In some cases, such as when detecting tags and fins, it is very helpful to place the color standard under the fin so that the colors can be compared through the pigmentation. If you wish, you can make customized color standards at the time of tagging by injecting some tags onto clear stiff plastic and then covering them with packing tape after the marks have cured. Because color perception varies between individuals, we find labeling the colors to be very helpful. The shelf life of unmixed elastomer is one year from the date of purchase when properly stored. Elastomer should be stored in the refrigerator. When in the field, it should be kept out of direct sunlight and away from extreme temperature fluctuations. The color standard should also be stored out of direct sunlight. 